Hi, welcome to Bishop TV. My name is Flavio Tsipori. Hope you're doing well wherever you are watching this from in the world today. Things are changing as we know and unfortunately with lots of airlines gone bust. Um, there's a lot of pilots available on the market. I've had quite a few airline pilots knock on my door over the last few weeks and say, Fabrizio, can you help me find a job in the private jet world? So the question is, will, can an airline pilot fit in to a private jet operation? Um, is it a good idea to hire a private uh, jet pilot with a former airline background, only airline background? So we're going to be answering these questions in this episode of BizJet TV. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed to this channel, this is all about private aviation. The purpose of the channel is to show you that a private jet is a business tool. It's not a luxury item. I know the media like to tell you the story of the luxury private jet, but forget the luxury. It's a business tool. And I think more and more people are going to be coming into using private jets in the future because of, you know, the, the, what's happened with the lockdown. Many airlines have gone bust, um, lots of routes being cancelled um, and people are afraid of viruses. So anyway, that's why we're here today to educate you about private aviation. So we're going to answer this question today. Can a private, can an airline pilot make a good private jet pilot? And if you haven't subscribed, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel. Give us a thumbs up, comment after the video. We'd love to hear from you. Love to hear your comments. Let's get straight into it. Let's get into action with this question. Off we go. So this uh, COVID-19 lockdown thing has caused a lot of airlines to go bust. Other airlines have reducing their workforce. And as a consequence of this, uh, we've gone from a pilot shortage to a pilot surplus. With a lot of these airline pilots, experienced airline pilots now on the market, uh, not a good time for a young person going through flight school uh, because it's going to be very difficult for them to find a job because at the end of the day, if you want to hire a new pilot, you're going to hire an experienced one over a young, inexperienced one. That's pretty normal. So the question now is with a more, more people now looking at private jet travel as you know the way things are changing now, with COVID-19, uh, as you can see, a lot of airlines now require you to wear a mask, you know, and a lot of people don't want to wear a mask for 10 hours on a long flight. So more people are moving towards private jet travel. People have been knocking on my door about buying aircraft. And obviously, as I've always said on, on BizJet TV, uh, buying the aircraft is only one part of the equation. You know, selecting the right pilot is really important as well as the right maintenance and management company. There's always four elements to aircraft acquisition and operation. And it's really, really important to understand that. So the question is, would an airline pilot make a good private jet pilot? Well, there are differences in the two jobs. And I personally have done both. Um, and then within the private jet arena, there's different types of private jet pilots. And I've done all of them from, you know, flying for a private owner to flying an air ambulance to flying uh, for uh, an air taxi company. Um, I've also done the operation side and marketing and, and sales side of private aviation. Um, and then on the airline front, I've done nearly everything. The only thing I haven't flown for is, is a um, cargo operator. I've flown for low-cost airlines. I've flown for national flag carrier, charter airline, startup airline, regional airline. Um, the only thing I haven't done is cargo. But, you know, lots of buddies of mine are cargo pilots and you know, they tell me what goes on. So there are, there are differences. And I would say uh, from a flying standpoint, the airline guys uh, are very well trained and standardized. So you're going to get a good, you know, stick, as they say. Uh, because you know they usually fly more. I mean, an airline pilot flies eight, nine hundred hours a year compared to two, three hundred hours a year is what a private jet pilot flies. So the airline guy is usually you know hands on flying. Uh, you know they're, they're good pilots. Um, they're very well standardized and used to flying with different people and, and all that kind of thing. So you you get that. Uh, but uh, those people sometimes and very often actually don't fit in uh, on a private jet. A private jet is very much a business. Uh, you know, you don't just lock the aircraft up after the flight, go to your hotel and don't have to think about it anymore. You know, you are in charge of the airplane. You haven't got some engineer looking after the airplane in a hangar or whatever, especially when you're down route. Um, it's, you're very much the manager of this flying corporation, let's call it. Uh, the other thing with a private jet pilot is with the airlines. I mean, very often when I was flying for the airlines, I, didn't, I wouldn't see the passengers. I mean, I got 189 people sitting in the back there. I don't know who they are. I don't care who they are. They pay for their ticket. My job is to fly the plane from A to B. Well, the private jet pilot is a lot more than just a pilot. I mean, he represents you as an executive, as an entrepreneur. Um, you, you have to really look at the personality. 
this person is there, they're going to have a chat to your guests, um, is a PR person as well, so do they look good, uh, do they smell good, you know, some pilots smoke and drink a lot, um, but you know, if you're flying cargo, you know, <laughs> 747 in and out of, you know, outback places and that, you know, who cares what the pilot looks like, what the pilot smells like, um, as long as he knows, he or she knows how to fly, that's the important thing. But with a private jet, it's very important to see, is your pilot well-groomed, is he well-spoken, uh, because this person is representing you as well. And, and a lot of airline pilots just don't fit in. Uh, they're almost like truck drivers. Uh, you imagine, you know, the difference between a truck driver and a chauffeur, a private chauffeur. So that's what you have to look at. So yes, the private chauffeur has to know how to drive. Um, or, for example, the difference between a racing driver and a private chauffeur. So the private jet pilot is very much a private chauffeur. Uh, yes, he has to have the flying skills and military background can help, airline background can help, but you really have to see if the personality fits in. The other, the other important aspect for the private jet pilot is the ability to think outside the box. Now, I had a situation once, um, I was flying for the airlines and we were stuck in Pisa. I say stuck because the airport started to be fogged in and uh, the airport had actually shut. We had 189 passengers on board, we were due to fly back to London. Um, I was a first officer at the time and um, you know we looked out the window and we could see that the visibility was better than what they were actually telling us so i said to my colleague i said do you mind if i get off and go and have a chat to the guys in the tags i'm speaking fluent italian so my, my, my colleague said yeah yeah fine yeah. i said let's see if i can get us off the ground you know it, it may help so off i went um i went down phoned the guys at the control tower had a chat with them privately on the phone um, and I said, look, if you send a car down the runway, uh, you will actually see that, um, you know, the visibility is, is a lot more than what you're actually saying right now. I'm only saying this because we've got 189 people sitting on the airplane. They want to get home. and It's going to be very inconvenient for us as an airline to have put all these people up in a hotel. Um, so, you know, can you help us out? So anyway, after about five minutes of negotiations, um, we got them to go down the runway and say, yep, yeah, okay, visibility is good enough. And we managed to take off and we saved the airline a ton of money. Now, I could, I did that. Uh, I thought outside the box because of my private jet days. Now, when you're operating a private jet, as I always tell people, you're not buying a jet, you're buying time. So you need to have your pilots um, know what they're doing. Also, be kind of people that think outside the box. Um, and as I said before, think more private private chauffeur uh, than truck driver or, or, or Formula One driver. So... Uh, Overall, I would say as a pilot, you know, physical piloting, yes, they're good, they're well trained. Um, I like to hire people with an airline background, but they have to fit in with the whole private jet thing. Uh, ideally, you want somebody that's had both. Um, that's the ideal situation. Or you want to take the airline pilot guy and if the personality matches, and, and usually what I would recommend is, is, you know, I only hire people that I know. Um, so there are some airline guys that I know that fit in very well with because of their personality, the way they think. Uh, they do a lot of stuff outside. Uh, they've always done a lot of stuff outside just flying for the airline. So I know they have a business mind. You almost have to have a business mind to be a business jet pilot. Um, and that's the way you, you, know, you need to think. So that's overall my um, take on all this. So yes, uh, airline pilot can be a good private jet pilot, but you just have to be careful on the personality, on the selection. The ideal situation is that they've done both, uh, but if they've just flown for the airlines, uh, you have to make sure that they're gonna fit in. Uh, a lot of the young guys that you know got in from, from flight school to low cost airline and did that for 10, 15 years, they very, it would be very difficult for them to fit in with um, a private jet operation. So I'd stay away from those. Um, so, you know, it very much is down to the person. Uh, and that's really it. So I'd like to hear your comments. So, you know, comment below. Let me know what you think. If you are looking to buy a jet right now, um, looking at hiring pilots and that, uh, I can definitely help out. You can ping me an email and uh, we can get on the phone and I see what I can do for you uh, on an aviation consultancy call. Otherwise, if you haven't subscribed to BizJet TV, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel. Give us a thumbs up. That's all from Abrizza Poli on BizJet TV, and I'll see you on the next one.